My name is David Wotton. Uh, I am a uh, lawyer, a partner in Allen and Overy, a global law, firm, global law firm headquartered in the City of London, uh, and I found myself involved in civic matters in recent years, and two years ago was the Lord Mayor of the City of London. If you look around the world, there are so many examples of failed states which had a huge natural resource endowment. And uh, there is a vast literature on the phenomenon called natural resource curse, or a Dutch disease, or any, any other bad words that you can find uh, in a literature. And uh, it's empirical. It's empirical that the countries which are endowed with natural resources are developing at a slower, rate, a slower pace, or fail whatsoever. So it's a, it's a great uh, thing to have a lot of natural resources, but also it's also a huge challenge to manage them properly. The State Oil Fund of uh, the Republic of Azerbaijan, SOFAS, was established in 99, was exactly having a, a number of objectives, a number of uh, purposes, which is to help us to avoid all those negative uh, experiences. And there is a huge amount of mistakes that we can tap in, looking around the world, what has went wrong. This is not the Cold War uh, era of business. It is people have to compete for capital in the global markets, and they have to be attractive uh, investment destinations uh, for people to really commit their capital. And so we are seeing that with flying colors. And I would agree that as long as the focus continues to be on the diversification of the economies and really strengthening those pillars of economic growth, uh, the corridor has a tremendous potential, and we haven't seen the best of it yet. And we are working with many different countries in terms of how to best come with the, with the right model for the country. Samru Kazina, as we know, is really housed with all the government holdings in the SOEs of Kazakhstan. So that's very similar to the Tamasek model that started in Singapore 30 years ago. And the objective of that is that over time, you would monetize the government stakes in those companies through privatization programs and then redeploy that capital to longer-term invest in, in investments in international markets. We are condemned in all of the countries with the neighborhood in which we live. We cannot change our neighborhood. So please respect history. Now, we in the West uh, have uh, a way of looking at these things in terms of East-West you know, geostrategic interests, Western interests competing with uh, Russian interests, for example, in this region, or Iranian interests. As we heard from some of the panel members who came to this uh, uh, panel from the region and spoke, this region needs to interact north, south, east, west. That's the natural way for this region to work. And I think we should see our role as foreign investors or as foreign counterparts of the region, as people who respect the geography of the region and we contribute to trade within the region irrespective of where our geopolitical uh, you know, interest is. Uh, so, for example, when we were building uh, the BP infrastructure in the 1990s um, in terms of housing in Baku, uh, our engineers uh, came from Turkey, our raw material came from Iran, uh, uh, you know, we had uh, things coming from Russia, steel came from Russia, uh, uh, and we used our regional position there. I think we need a, a developed deposit guarantee scheme, a deposit gu guarantee scheme that encourages citizens to, rather than leaving their money under the mattress, to confidently place their money in banks so that banks can then recycle it into the wider economy. And I think we need transparency uh, of reporting and rapidity of dealing with problem loans. The longer you sweep a problem loan under the carpet, the bigger the bump under the uh, carpet uh, gets. And I think we also need more dependable um, financial markets infrastructure and payment systems. And I should remind you, in deference to our hosts here at the London Stock Exchange, the Basel III places much more emphasis on trading securities, in including debt instruments, which I'm familiar with, as well as derivatives on exchange and clearing them centrally. So to, to finish up, alongside uh, the need for a well-regulated local banking system with robust financial market infrastructure comes the need for a healthy governance system inside those banks, a real senior management responsibility for the bank systems and controls to manage the risks it faces, external challenge from non-executive directors, an independent internal audit system uh, that roots out bad practices, and uh, augmentation of that by a, 
uh, a grown-up approach to whistleblowing.